Right, Novigrad Dreaming, meet Kareen at the Golden Sturgeon. So, first of all, i got to try and work out how to get out of this house. So I think I'm upstairs. Here we go. And there was a fair bit of loot in that house. I didn't get it all, but I got a fair bit, but it's probably worth searching it. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Oh, well, poor banker. I'm sure he'll be fine. So, time to meet Corinne. So, I think she said she was at the pub. So I might be able to have a nice cold one, have a couple of froffies. Oh, I've been to this pub before. All the action is at this pub, it seems. I think there's a trader here. Alright, let's just go find her. Now I might quickly meditate, make sure I've got full health. Always a good idea to make sure you got full health before talking to anyone. You never know when a fight might break out. Okay, where is she? Is she hiding downstairs? Where is she be? Is that her? That's not her. That's a dude, isn't it? It's definitely a dude. Where's Corinne at? Old woman? Sweeping lady? All right, maybe she's upstairs. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Here we go. Where is she? Is there a door here? Yeah, here she is. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's do it. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Ah, uh, trained her. I remember that Siri bit the best. Orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, <coughs> development of her stamina could be hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though of her coming out of her room one day wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed knew then that Siri was maturing it was unavoidable I was lost in the face of that I see do you wish to tell me anything more yes I think so in that case I'm listening It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. 
They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. No. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Oh, let's move on. No, let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falcon. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? I think that's enough. No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her, but your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Hmm. He's flaking out. Dreaming. What's going on? Is he being chased by the bird? I think the bird helped him. can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet. Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Let's go check out the brothel. For your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Awesome. Alright, so we completed that little quest and Novigrad Dreaming. Completed. Yeah, yeah. So that's the end of this little walkthrough. Thanks, Apes, for watching. I'll have some more coming up soon, so stay tuned. See ya.